A common question that pervades all of intellectual property law is, just precisely what can be protected? What exactly can an owner protect by copyright or by patent or by trademark? Congress and the courts have struggled with that question for centuries. In the 1879 case of Baker v. Selden, the United States Supreme Court explained the difference between an idea and the expression of an idea and why the distinction matters to copyrights. Charles Selden wrote a book entitled Selden's Condensed Ledger, or Bookkeeping Simplified, which described Selden's bookkeeping system and included examples and pages of blank forms. He then copyrighted the book. Baker created blank account forms that mirrored Selden's bookkeeping system. Selden's widow sued Baker for copyright infringement in the United States Circuit Court for the Southern District of Ohio. Baker argued that Selden's account book and the arrangement of ruled lines and columns on blank pages weren't eligible for copyright protection. The district court found for Selden, and Baker appealed to the United States Supreme Court.